Hey guys, today I'll be looking, taking a look at the Repro Label set for Dark the Moon Sentinel Prime, which Decom Prime included, Decom Prime included in the package he sent me. So make sure you check his channel on YouTube. Now, I'm taking a quick look at Sentinel Prime in both modes without any stickers. So, just this. So, here he is in this mode. Nope. Here he is. Quick 360, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of detail from the movies missing. So, yeah, I'll get this guy sticker up and we'll take a look at him in his after shot after I show you his robot mode. So, here's a look at Sentinel in robot mode before Ripper Label. So, doing a quick 360 on the figurine one last time before I get him all stickered up. So, again, he's lacking quite a bit of detail. You, I talked about that in the actual review of this guy. So, in a quick second, we'll see what he looks like in his robot mode with the stickers. So you're setting up back in vehicle mode, and you can already tell right away that there is a lot of stickers added to the vehicle mode, which are really nice. So, we'll just go with the front stickers here, like right here. This right here is all one sticker. It's like a line right here, which is nice. And in the front, you have a light added here and a light added there. I think I put those on myself, like with the extras coming around to this side. They, they put in the window detail with the American flag and a uh, symbol that looks like a floppy disk. And they also have the unit number, or no, the um, truck number right there with the seven. There's Autobot symbol and some words that I definitely can't tell you what that those words say. So I don't have a microscope. Anyways, then they also add these lights, as I would assume they are on the side, right there. Then they add the um, paramedic symbol and this down words pointing arrow with words on it. And that was already there. They also add, here's a new sticker which really helps because that used to be the Autobot symbol and this was all red right here which looked like crap. And now it looks better and it says keep back 100 feet. Another paramedic symbol with a 7 on it. Another blue light. The red light goes there. And um, Rosen hover. Probably what this thing's called. And I'm back. The most improvement. They added like everything here with the exception of these yellow lights, right? And it looks great. They put the rear tie downs on, they put the lights on everywhere in the back. This was the biggest problem for me in vehicle mode, because I didn't have any detail on the back, Hasbro. Look what rep labels had to do. Then the other side is pretty much a mirror image. So, and up here you have the lights up here too. So, yep, there's him in his fire truck mode. So, let's get to his robot mode. So here's Sentinel in robot mode. So... Add some stickers like, let me bring it a little bit closer. Um, the stickers from the sides of the door window things. The sevens come there and make a little motif, nice thing. Then you have um, the seven with the medical symbol right here. Let's focus in on that. So that's nice. Then up here on his shoulder, you have the R, which is some of the few stickers. <laughs> This set actually adds to his robot mode. So coming down to his legs, you can see that they add part of his 316 number there on his calves and there. Then they add some stickers to the feet right here and on the inside and the outside for detailing. Then the stickers from the back of the truck mode carry over to the feet so it does not add a whole lot of stickers it just for the robot mode then I actually added these two light stickers up here with extra stickers and two bar stickers down there with extra stickers but this set shines absolutely shines with the stickers it adds to the shield which gives it more of a bladed shield look and adds some damage. It's not carrying over that well, but you can see. But this set absolutely shines when it comes to the sword stickers. 
you see here it adds all the battle damage like you had in the movie a bunch of detailing on the other side they highlight the Cybertronian symbols on the sword which are absolutely amazing and of course like always Sentinel can hold these if you open his hands but that's not the fun part so that just helps the look of the toy so much so much so do I think this Repulse label set is worth your time and your money yeah I think it's worth it especially because the stickers it adds to the weapons and it just adds a boatload a boatload of stickers to the vehicle mode um, but most of the stickers that adds to the vehicle mode you don't really see in the robot mode which is a shame so I wish you had more stickers for the robot mode, but what it does have looks really good with extra stickers that you have, like the extra lights and stuff, you can really make it your own, which is nice. So do I think it's worth the money? Yes. And again, thank you to Decom Prime for sending this out to me. Really, really appreciate it. And make sure you check out his channel on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to him and watch all of his videos. And do the same for me. So thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.